Welcome everybody. I didn't like that. I didn't like that at all. You and you're better at intros. I'm yes, I'm much better at intros. Marvel Phase Four. <laughs> what in the world are this gonna? Oh like this. So let's just get right into it. Marvel Phase Four. Avengers Endgame is here. It is out in the public. People have seen it. One almost one point six billion at this point, right? Yeah, and if you haven't seen it, why are why you watching? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we did it also. We are not really going to be focusing on Avengers Endgame. If you want to see right. us talk extensively about Avengers Endgame, full spoilers, everything about it, I have a video uploaded mm -hmm. on the channel right now. Link in the description or in the end card or in the little eye thing. If I can figure out how to finally do that, it will be there. We so. will. There's a scene that we'll talk about, but that's about it. Oh, well, so, so spoiler warning anyways, no matter what. If you've yeah. seen the video, also we're going to talk about the future of the MCU, which mm -hmm. means certain characters who are not here anymore, obviously they won't be in Phase 4, or will they? Uh, we'll see. Full spoilers. Spoiler warning for Avengers Endgame. Uh, but we are going to be getting into what we believe uh, Phase 4 of Marvel is going to be. Kevin right. Feige obviously has it all planned out in his insane mind. Mm -hmm. which i also have confirmation that he is a genius from someone who has worked on set of avengers endgame which is probably the coolest you thing you should do ever. a video on that i should I, I don't think it's like video worthy oh. uh it was really cool i tweeted about it uh at the ur movies but yeah so i got to meet the, the camera operator for avengers endgame he also worked ever since marvel phase one in the first iron man he worked on that film which is crazy. I got to talk to him and all the stories he had. That's on called set. job security. <laughs> yes, yes, yes. And he was talking about how like they have like this tight knit group of people that mm -hmm. they work with, which would be awesome to get in that group. But we are going to be talking about the future of the MCU from this point going forward. And so you have already put a lot of thought into this. Yeah, it's funny. I was just thinking about it one night. Um, I, probably after I saw Endgame the second time. Um, have you only seen it twice? Yeah, I've seen it three yeah. times so it gets better every time it really does well it got better the, the second time that i watched it but mm -hmm. for the third time that you watched it, it got better yeah again it just it flies by it's yeah. so good uh character development everything mm -hmm. about it it's an amazing movie well and so i was thinking because my my first thought was okay we're gonna spider-man is gonna far from home is the last phase three movie yes is what they said so that's gonna explain a lot it's basically like, gonna show what the, the world looks the like world, yeah, yeah. Um, and it's perfect because they're going international too. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you get to see everything. Uh, you get to see how the U.S. is is reacting to it. How um, the U.K. is reacting to it. It's. Yeah. I think it's a perfect movie to have to start. Um, but that kind of got me thinking of like, okay, all of these other movies. You know, people have aged five years. Obviously, half the people haven't. So mm -hmm. it's like, how are how are they gonna Especially each movie the from here on out is gonna have different ways of kind of showing how each mm -hmm. kind of group was affected by it and not only that but a lot of people's origin stories of new characters that mm -hmm. they can't introduce right. is because of this event that happened you know maybe yeah. like hawkeye they lost their family right. you know they turn into a ronin type character and all of a sudden you get them back which also in marvel shows is going to be a huge part of that mm -hmm. a lot of the the stuff that happened in this movie is going to affect those shows extensively those see the the we didn't get a lot of hints to what the next group of movies mm -hmm. are going to be we got a lot of teasers for the shows See, here's which the is thing. interesting we got that, a lot of teasers they did for that. the shows i think that's because we know what the shows are right now they have not announced True. anything after well besides think, a doctor strange 2 a black panther 2 but all those Guardians people got 3. dusted yes exactly and so like we got um, for the tv shows i mean i guess bucky and and uh falcon got dusted as well mm -hmm. um but we got a big answer with that um, but that was a that was a big deal at the end of the movie, obviously yeah. with Cap. So I think one thing with especially with Cap and with the Bucky Winter Soldier show, I think from here on out, no more Captain Mar uh, not Captain Marvel, no more Captain America movies, mm -hmm. at least for a long time. Well, I we think could, they're gonna keep them on TV, which I, I think Falcon works best. On I TV. think we could. Speaking of Facebook, I think we could possibly have a Captain America four, um, because what they've they, they did a recent interview, mm. um, talking about how he came back um you know how he was back at the end and whatnot um i think oh, you yeah. could do a captain america 4 with him and peggy and ways that what did he do the rest of his life See, like did he just like kind of i think he kept hide? on being like that counselor the the person at the support group i think he was there ever a time Always though he people. needed to help Maybe, you know, like I go think... undercover like it could be an undercover movie mm -hmm. with him and peggy yeah something i or dealing with shield 
and, mm-hmm. and see, I think I think he would have to not mess with the timelines, I, unless he already created unless, a separate timeline. Unless it's itself, a separate yeah. timeline itself, and you know, mm-hmm. uh, honestly, what they can do is they set themselves up perfectly for a bunch of just spin-off, like standalone movies that doesn't impact the actual right. current universe. Mm-hmm. So if they wanted to, in like five, ten years, to go back to Captain America and bring back Peggy yeah. Carter and Steve Rogers and have a side adventure of that, and just yeah. completely, and you can separate. bring them back older and have it yeah. be in the like very 70s. loosely connected yeah or something mm-hmm. when they're older yeah exactly so i think that's potential but i do think as a phase four right now what we do know for sure is that dr strange 2 i believe is filming so that's gonna be the mm-hmm. first one out of the gate next year i think you said this is it, before is it and really? i don't agree uh, yeah because the director has been tweeting out uh images of like comic book strips like once a week okay and it's it's awesome like you know scott derrickson is directing dr strange 2 you know it's gonna be right out of the gate pretty soon here so uh, I'm excited for that one. That one's probably going to be the first one next year. Mm-hmm. And I think, because Marvel has always done a three-year sequel, uh, like, go like you know, running through right. sequels, every three years they release one. The problem is Guardians of the Galaxy 3 was scheduled for 2020. And three years after 2021. Yes, now. three years, no, yeah. 2022, because uh, Suicide Squad comes out in 2021. Okay. So as Guardians of the Galaxy is going to be pushed back <laughs> quite a bit, uh, which messes up our little timeline, but I think Doctor Strange. I, I think, think what will replace track. that then? Okay, here I should I go over my list? Then? Yeah, yeah, just go ahead. Okay, so the first one, like you said, Doctor Strange two. Mm-hmm. Um, I and this is twenty twenty because twenty nineteen obviously ends with with home or with, not, with far, uh, from far from home. Yes. So the first one out of the gate, like you said, Doctor Strange two. We will get the Black Widow movie next year. Yes. Yes. Um, that's been confirmed that we are getting in twenty twenty. And possibly Eternals. Is Eternals even on your list? No, because... They've been casting like crazy. I think they're fast-tracking that because of Guardians. Okay. So well, I think that if would they still do stick be... with three years of schedule, That would still be a 2021. Maybe. I think what they're trying to do is... Because they've been doing three movies a year for the past two years, mm-hmm. right? I think if they decide to slow down, it's going to be this year. But then right after that, they're doing three movies right. a year once again. Right. So I think there's well, a possibility that Eternals could be that third spot. I don't think, think so. November. I think it's Black Panther 2. You think Black Panther 2? I will think, be out I think they're fast tracking Black Panther 2 because See, I think it's important. Here's the thing is Black Panther came out in 2018. I think they're waiting for 2021. They're going to use their three year cycle for that. Because Doctor Strange came out in 2016. Uh, 2020 is going to be four years, so it's a little bit longer than normal. Or wait, no, Doctor Strange did come out in 2017. So it still fits that three year cycle because that was the. What's that? I don't remember. Like I can look it up. No, it was 2016. Was it was it? the last yeah, one in 2016. Like, yeah, because it was after Civil War, which is yeah. 2016 uh but yeah 2016 so i i I think they still will do black panther 2 because i think it'll be at the very end or it'll be the first one in 2021 i think the thing is exactly i think it might be february same spot as the first black panther is gonna be 2021 well then then what's the third one next year third one i think they take a break i think they only do two movies next year because of guardians what do you do okay so here's here's what i have dr strange 2 black widow black panther 2 Mm -hmm. okay then captain marvel 2 um uh, fantastic four is in there as guardians of the galaxy four four um and then one that i'm putting in there iron heart mm-hmm. i think we're gonna get an iron heart sooner than people think yeah um i, I think like they're that. i, I think they're gonna want while. to replace iron man a little bit quicker mm-hmm. um and i think iron heart she's gonna be ready for um the new avengers and i think that's the next avengers movie we get is the new avengers do you think that'd be the title i don't yes i don't think we get an x-men i think Mm -hmm. the new avengers might tease x-men but i think we're a ways away out from x-men and i think i think fantastic four makes more sense because they want to do the cosmic stuff yeah i thought endgame would introduce the x-men in some possible way with Mm -hmm. time travel affecting it they did nothing with they did absolutely nothing so how do you incorporate the x-men because it Here's unless you're creating a whole new story with the x-men what i've always said about Completely. the x-men is you can't lose the history that they have with world war ii but at this point also if you think at about this point it, they have to, which here's a they huge didn't, they thing. didn't put it in endgame here's a huge that thing that, i know but here's the thing though which is why i think they're going to kind of retcon the the history of the x-men and kind of change it to more modern times because if you think about it in 2018 thanos snaps they're living in the year 2023 and I'm not sure if you heard the last person who living from World War II actually died not too long ago, mm-hmm. well, which is very sad. And so this this timeline, it just doesn't work anymore. You can't have them originate during World War II. I think what they do is they switch it up. They have it be the Vietnam War and have a different angle at the X-Men, something that we haven't seen before, a different war. 
to place them in, it definitely changes the history. And I'm not the biggest fan of that. Yeah. But just age wise, but it just doesn't even line if up they anymore. do it, then where have they been? Where have they been? I think what they can do is maybe Xavier and uh, Magneto. They don't have their powers yet, and maybe they get it soon later down the line. And their history, their battle between each other, their moral battle will have always been a thing. But then they get these powers to ex like to kind of increase the tension between the two and kind of cause a different... See, and, and something know, like that, tricky. something like that, I think it's going to take time mm-hmm. of using the these movies to yeah. kind of tease, tease, tease. Mm-hmm. So that's why, because before I remember I was talking about the next Avengers movie after Endgame... Would be Avengers versus was, X-Men? I but don't, there's no way. don't think, yeah. There's no way. And I think the, the next Avengers movie is usually every... Three years. Three, three years, well. years, right? It's 2012, 2015, 2018. So that means 2022. On my list... That's 2020, 2021, 2022. So it would fit. Yeah. And I think in 2022, because we'd have we would get, we would get as Guardians of the Galaxy. Mm-hmm. I think Ironheart and New Avengers. I think Ironheart comes out right before the New Avengers. I think. See, here's the thing. I think there is a decent chance that the one right before the Avengers. I think they're gonna pull kind of like a Guardians of the Galaxy. They're gonna take their time. I think Fantastic Four will come up before then. They can and do I that think too. What you have here. I'm not sure about Ironheart. I think they want to kind of let Iron Man sit for a while. I don't think that'd be three years it. later. It would be three years later, but I still think you don't touch it. I think you you go with Iron th- Man. Uh, I think but... you have Spider Man be that Iron Man character because he has the voice in his head. He they kind of really groomed him to be the replacement of Iron True, Man. True, but her story makes more sense mm. to put it as soon, not as soon as possible, <sighs> but sooner than later just because of how her story i just don't want them to kill tony stark and then instantly replace him no and they won't three years will still seem too soon for me i think it'll be a tease look out for her name um especially in far from home her name Mm is uh riri williams yeah riri williams uh look out for her name whether it's in casting with i think i feel like she could be connected to spider-man I think yeah, there's. Yeah, I, think I mean, it'd, it'd work. It it would work, and I think that could be a nice duo that mm-hmm. they kind of incorporate. Um, another thing is, where does Hulk fit in all of this? Because that's true. He's gonna see. Now, okay, and I said Thor Hulk. four, but when is Thor four gonna happen? Because mm-hmm. Thor four won't happen until I don't think... after Guardians Galaxy. Yeah, Guardians Galaxy. I think so. I think what's what's missing out of your list and what my list would be is if you think about it, if you have two movies next year, right, and then you have uh, twenty twenty one, you have three movies. And you have three movies, 2022, right? Mm. That's going to be phase four. Cause, which is a little, like, timeline-wise, I think that's what they would do. Right. Uh, or maybe they even extend it more than that have more movies in there. But I think what you would do is you'd have your Doctor Strange and your Black Widow. That'd be next year. Which also, Black right. Widow movie has two options. It could be in that five years in between the Dustin, which I heard recently. I was like, that that's could be an interesting yep. story. Or a prequel or, of how um, the Hawkeye Buddhist. met. Yeah, you do the Budapest thing, which would give a lot of character for yeah. her because, you know, like people make fun of the sign, but the red in her ledger, you know, what is her, the right. red in her it ledger? It makes more so many times. Yeah. Uh, seeing the, Hawkeye it, save her from the in whatever dark place in. between five years, I just don't know if that would be entertaining enough. Yeah. Like, she, was, she wasn't really she doing really anything. She really became a leader, though. She yeah, became more but, of a leader in those five years. But what action was really happening? That's true. You know what I mean? Like, mm-hmm. I just it doesn't really fit. It makes more sense to complete her character yeah. by doing the prequel. I definitely would rather have the prequel. Uh, but so you have Black Widow and Doctor Strange next year, right? Mm-hmm. And then you're missing the Eternals in there. I think you take yeah. out Thor four. I don't think Thor is going to get Thor won't movie be until Phase five. They've never done a fourth movie for any franchise besides Avengers, right? No, but there was talk. Um, so, uh. Um, if you have evidence that Hemsworth, I don't have here. well, Hemsworth did uh, rumor is oh. that he did sign a new contract. Mm-hmm. Oh, really? Uh, yeah, and oh, okay. Valkyrie. Remember Valkyrie? I think so you're missing Valkyrie movie there. I think that'll be Thor four. You think Thor four will be Valkyrie? Okay. Yeah, and that, and I think that could break right there be the end of Thor. And they transition. Honestly, they kind of pass the torch mm-hmm. from him to Here's Valkyrie. The, I think they've already passed the torch in a way. In I don't way. think you give Valkyrie the powers of Thor. I think you keep Thor having powers. You put him with Guardians and you keep him there. I think Fat Thor is so perfect for Guardians. Yeah, but he won't always be movie. Fat Thor. I think he will. I don't. I don't think. I so. think. I think it's a risky choice <laughs> because <laughs> I, think it's, I think Fat Thor, Fat Thor, Fat Thor fits better in the Guardians than normal Thor would. Right, but I'm, what I'm saying is I don't think he's going to be part of the Guardians for more than one movie. Really? Well, because I think one more movie for Guardians is it. 
I think James Gunn will make his trilogy, and then they'll, they'll be it for the Guardians of the Galaxy. And maybe you have Eternals kind of replace that. Okay. In the future. And I but think that I think, I think the first I things. think the first fourth edition of a of one of these characters is Thor four. Thor, uh, see I. It makes more. Think, it makes the most sense, and you bring Taika Waititi back. Mm-hmm. I think you bring Taika for the Valkyrie movie, and you have Korg, Valkyrie, and then Meek, and you explore her powers with the the horse, which is awesome to mm-hmm. see. I want to see more of that. Yeah. I don't want to see necessarily a Thor four. I want to see a Valkyrie one. Do we get an A Force? A Force. That is another thing. Yeah, I think honestly we get. An, here's okay here's something i honestly don't think we'll get another avengers movie for a while i think it might be six years for another avengers movie the end of phase four would be an a force movie possibly instead because i think that could be really cool they have the characters uh, for it and i think if they have an iron heart especially before this movie you make an a force movie you have Guardians of the galaxy 3 kind of be that avengers replacement you know you put thor in there you put uh, I don't know who else you put in there, but you can have Shuri. You can have you know all the female characters that they had in Endgame, which was introduce incredible. Ironheart. Introduce Ironheart before, just like you said. Then you have an A Force movie replacing Avengers uh, Five. Okay. So and I think new Avengers, either whether that would be Avengers versus X Men, or you have the Galactus <laughs> idea that you had. They could even do the Young Avengers. The Young Avengers. I think that'll be on TV. That makes Possibly. sense. Because they're setting up the Hawkeye show, which we have not talked right. about yet. We're, it's going to be set Hawkeye training his daughter to mm-hmm. kind of replace him. And I think you have the young uh, Cassie Lang. Right. Because, you know, she was saying in at the end of Ant-Man and the Wasp yeah. that, you know, I wanted to be your partner. Mm-hmm. And I think she will because now she's old enough, which I think is so awesome. So her, Hawkeye's daughter, Spidey. Um, Do you put Spidey and Ironheart in there? And no. Ironheart, yeah. that's the. I think you do. I think, oh, they're also, is Squirrel Girl... A Hulu show? I know they, I know. they what announced about the, the casting uh, for Squirrel Girl. The Japanese or Chinese? Uh, what's his name? Shang Chi. Something like I don't know. I don't know. Uh, I didn't they just announce that that's like rumored to possibly yeah. happen? Yeah. I don't think Marvel announced it themselves, but I think like Hollywood Reporter. They, or they, got they've got scoop. so. The thing is, is there's so many characters right now. <laughs> it's hard to figure out mm-hmm. what they're doing. Um, one thing I did want to talk about because we've we've gone over everything over everything except for Black Panther. Um, yes. So, oh yeah, yeah. To say your your thing. In, in the beginning of Endgame, uh, when they're on the holograms talking, mm-hmm. uh, Akwe says there was an earthquake in yeah. the in the ocean. He's um, like, what do what do we do in about the it? Atlantic Ocean? <laughs> mm-hmm. Well, if you guys go back and look at Iron Man two at the end, when it's insane. That's when, 2010. Uh, right. When um, Fury is talking to Stark, mm-hmm. and behind them is the screens, and it shows Wakanda. Mm-hmm. You know, it shows all the points of, of where, later. right of of where certain superheroes are. Mm-hmm. Well, one of them, is dead center in Atlantic Ocean. Really, and that's in Atlantis. All right, so that, that's so cool. and there's Tell an me earthquake. More about Nam- Do you know more about Namor? Basically, it's Aquaman. Okay. Um, their version of Aquaman. Uh, and I mean, so I just you, you, you can pull up a picture of you of Namor. And then you can pu- put it up and post, but um, Namor. Let's so learn about Namor. He is from Atlantis. Um, Namor the submarine. And but here's the thing with Namor, he is a property of Paramount still, mm-hmm. along with Hulk. He cannot have his own movie. If you don't know the deal, because I, I know about the Hulk part, and I just found out recently because of this that Namor is in the same position mm-hmm. right now. Universal owns because if you watch the old Marvel movies Universal. in a row, <laughs> you're not. <laughs> Maybe. <laughs> Can you imagine if Disney owned Fast and Furious and the Transformers <laughs> franchise? I mean, I kind of wish they owned Fast and Furious. At this yeah, point. but uh, the Hobbs and Shaw looks good. It looks so fun. Uh, Anyways, uh, did you see the rumor that Fast and Furious uh, eight and nine might be in space? The, we've been blasting that for for years. I, There's a, like a, a race going on. Like, who will get to space first, Mission Impossible or Fast and Furious? Uh, but Fast and Furious will not. Or uh, what if Mission Impossible won't because Tom Cruise wants to go to space. Over? I don't want like, that. Don't ruin Mission Impossible. Like, hold my beer. Like, you know, it's like, like you see all the see, Avengers no. come together. Uh, uh, we've gotten so off topic. Fast and Furious <laughs> is going to get to space first, but Mission Impossible is going to be like, hold my beer. They're <laughs> actually going to go to space. Tom Cruise <laughs> is going to be like, hanging on the side of a rocket, just like, you know, a space station is going to blow up and they're actually going to do it and it's going to be yeah. insane. And Tom Cruise will probably sadly die because... He's going to get himself in trouble. One look, of at, look at this picture of Neymar. So, it's literally Aquaman. It really is, yeah. Like, what what are his powers? Aquaman. I don't know. Um, let's see. Abilities. Uh, uh, aquatic ad- ad- 
adaptation. Uh, superhuman strength, speed, agility, senses. That was so. He's Superman. Uh, underwater. Which underwater. Is um, <laughs> mild and infl- mild. Hydrokinesis. See, Aquaman doesn't have hydrokinesis. That's what uh, Mera has. Being what? able to like manipulate water. Okay. Hey, you haven't seen Aquaman. Longevity. Huh? No. Aquaman. Uh, tele- Mera, Mera is great. Telepathic control over sea creatures. Mm-hmm. Ability to copy the powers of oceanic life forms. Bodily water generation. Marine life empathy. So. Hmm. The mutant son <laughs> Marine of Marine life empathy is a superpower. The, yeah. The mutant. <laughs> Mutant son of a human sea captain and a princess. Of, it's Aquaman. It's literally Aquaman. That's amazing. Well, like finish what you're saying because Black Panther. You have uh, Okoye. Oh yeah. So what we're oh my gosh, we got so off topic. So Okoye. So basically, they don't have Earthquake. the rights to release a Neymar movie. Right. Is so what they, same thing with Hulk. That's why they have Hulk in the Thor movies. Right. And the Avengers. So how do you introduce it? Well, that's what how they introduced it. So and she said you handle it by not handling it, right? Mm-hmm. Well, obviously because Neymar has it controlled. Yeah. But they know who is. Uh, I'm guessing somewhere, somehow they meet, mm-hmm. um, and that's how you so introduce you're saying Namor. Namor in Black Panther. Yep, too. Yep, that'd be cool. It makes the most sense. Mm-hmm. Um, where is Wakanda exactly? It's it's in Africa. It's uh, I think it's they're the closest. They are definitely the closest. Yeah, I'm pretty much. I mean, it's, it's kind like of in, in the, the middle, middle of like the yeah. It's in the middle of Africa more so. Yeah. It's like the middle like. Down so I, it, it makes the most sense that they the technology wise too mm-hmm. um it just and obviously when you can't have your own move when they can't make a name or movie um you put them in songs like what they did with hulk and they had exactly. their own three film arc with exactly starting with ragnarok was act one mm-hmm. infinity war was act two and you have endgame being act three i mm-hmm. think that worked really well you couldn't do a Hulk movie, so what do they do? They split a Hulk movie into three different movies. Right. Worked excellently. If they do that with Namor, that could be a really cool yeah. addition. Well, and, and one thing uh, that we haven't talked about yet. What if what, you gender what swap happens... Namor and have uh, Namor a part of the uh, A-Force? You could even do that. That'd be cool. Um, but so what, happens to, uh, what happens to Hulk? Hulk from here on? See, here's the thing about Hulk, which uh, in the movie, you know, obviously Hulk snaps his fingers, he burns half his arm He off. stays with Valkyrie. I think he is... He could be in the Valkyrie movie, but I think he's more the brains. I don't think he's any more the brawn. I think he will mm-hmm. still like get in some fights, but he's not that Hulk. You right. saw him try to be angry. He could train. <laughs> yeah, he could. He can like uh, <laughs> he could be sparring with uh, Korg and Meek. <laughs> like seriously, Valkyrie could teach him like, hey, man, how to fight. Can you go a little harder on me. <laughs> you really softened up. No, I can't wait. I can't wait for the Valkyrie movie. I'm that's probably like I think you're definitely missing Valkyrie from your list and I think A4 well, is the next. Do you replace that with Thor 4 then? Yeah, I think take out Thor 4, you put Valkyrie in there, have Taika Waititi coming back. That would be amazing. I want that so bad. Uh but I think how let's let's take a, a little pause really fast. We're going to write down our list. Uh you said Captain Marvel 2. Captain Marvel 2 will probably come out in 3 years from now. Yeah, well that Most will likely. probably be and I don't think that will take place in current time yeah it'll i be think that's with another because you know i think yes. marvel ron and said you know i'll be back for her yeah but we already know how he dies too mm-hmm. but then i still think there's a chance of making ronin a better villain in gardens and making gardens better mm-hmm. i still i think that's kind of the point it's to not really show like not really just have ronin in there just bring him back because lee pace is awesome but to make ronin more threatening and right. a cooler villain so we're going to take a minute here. We're going to write down our prediction of Phase 4. I'm sure they will announce it within the next month or so. Uh, but yeah, we're going to take a bit here and we'll see what we can put together. Here we go. This is our list from 2020 to 2023. Obviously, at the end of this year, or in a couple months here, we're going to have Spider-Man Far From Home. July we 2nd. will get some answers there. Uh, July 2nd. Two months. Look at exactly. you knowing the date. Um, we have, first up, out of the gate, Doctor Strange. Obviously, the director's been tweeting out some stuff. Mm-hmm. We know it's been three years since Doctor Strange. They have a three-year cycle. Yep. Makes sense. That is what we're going to do. Now, all of this, this whole list and our guessing is based off of that. That there's a three-year cycle that they're mm-hmm. intending to do. And the next thing is that they haven't done a fourth movie of any of the characters. Yes. And also, uh, with, like, you know, three-year cycles for some movies, there's also only a two-year cycle for the Spider-Man movies. I had them mixed up on oh. accident. But yeah, because uh, 2017, 2019, mm-hmm. so 2021 would be the next Spider-Man movie because Sony. All right, anyways, so Doctor Strange, 2020, first movie out of the gate. Uh, I think it makes sense timeline-wise. I don't know when Doctor Strange came out. Was that an earlier in the year? No, that was, um, that was, that was, that was later, later of huh? 2016. 
Uh, so I remember I didn't see it in theaters. Yes. All right. So that one being earlier 2020, that's the only really, that's really the only shift. Unless we have. Unless you put Black Widow. Yeah. Well, the three that we have for 2020 is Doctor Strange. We have Black Widow and we have the Eternals. I think they have the casting with Angelina Jolie and mm-hmm. Camille Nanjiani. They're going nuts with casting. I think because Guardians of the Galaxy has been delayed, they're fast tracking Eternals. We're going to have that in 2020. 2022 will start off with Black Panther 2. Obviously, it makes sense in February. Uh, three years after. Um, Black, the first Black mm-hmm. Panther, and, and then, then that two introduces years, Namor. That introduces Namor, yes. Uh, Spider Man three, uh, not the one you're thinking of, but the <laughs> probably a better Spider Man three will yeah. be in 2021, two years after Far From Home. That'll be the summer movie of that year, and then we have the Valkyrie movie in 2021 in around November. So that makes sense. They have set up Valkyrie now being the queen of Asgard, which is awesome. Yeah. I really what happens to Asgard while Thor is off with the Guardians? Exactly. Exactly. And then we have 2022 starting off with Captain Marvel 2. And we think, we believe that it'll take place in the 2000s because we had our 90s mm-hmm. Captain Marvel. We're going to have our 2000 Captain Marvel. What has she been doing since right. before Endgame? Because she keeps on mentioning before other planets awesome need help. <laughs> yes, exactly. Uh, and then we have the setup with Ronin and all of that for Captain Marvel 2. Beginning of 2020, probably in March. And then the summer movie of 2022 would be As Guardians of the Galaxy Volume 3. Yep. We have that in 2022, which has already basically been confirmed with James Gunn. Mm-hmm doing Suicide Squad, and then doing Guardians 3. And then uh, at the end of that year, the third movie of that year would be Ant-Man and the Wasp and the Stinger. Because why not add Stinger as Cassie Lang? So that's my, just gonna that's keep my title, adding. yes. Or they could put Ant-Man and the Wasp <laughs> and, Ghost. and Ghost and Stinger. <laughs> and Stinger, just go on. <laughs> That'd be crazy. Uh, so 2023, we have our first impact of the Fox, uh, Mar- cool. uh, Fox Disney merger. We have Fantastic Four kicking off. 2023 introduction of those characters Mm -hmm. which could be hopefully awesome we know their future i don't think they can make anything worse than what we've had so anything would really be better and we have our summer movie of 2023 the avengers movie of the phase four being a force i think we take a break from avengers for at Mm -hmm. least a little while and a force will be and also they mentioned it like uh tessa thompson was saying why don't we get a full female avengers movie you know that came out a couple years ago we saw what they did in endgame exactly what they're yeah. going to do it's I a think tease A-Force, yeah. it's a tease i think we have a force in that year and then capping off phase four we introduce a new well you introduce her in a force, in A-Force yes and then right after is the iron heart movie which exactly. i am so excited for iron yes Heart. yes uh we have tony stark now gone i guess that's when you can bring stark and she uh, he can be the voice in oh i think iron he'll Hearts. i think he'll be in earlier with spidey do you think he'll be in uh, oh, i think yeah. you keep karen I don't know. I like Karen. You can have both. They can argue. <laughs> oh can you my imagine? God. Can you imagine? It's funny. He's in his suit and he's having two voices arguing about what web shooter he should use. Also, instant kill. Not enough cheers in the theater. All <laughs> yeah, three times great. I watch it. Yeah. That is Marvel Phase That's four. something that's easy to miss. <laughs> it is, yeah. But it's great. Um, so that is our Marvel Phase 4 predictions. If what do you, you want it. We have a graphic. I'll probably have a graphic yeah. on screen. What I think will be uh, this phase. So what do you guys think? Comment below your predictions. Uh, I'm assuming they're going to announce this pretty soon, so hopefully we nailed it. Hopefully. What's the next big convention that they have? Uh, well, or D- they could do a Comic-Con. When did D- they D- announce D- Phase 3? They just announced on their own events. Oh. Yeah, they I guess their they're own big events. enough to awesome. do that. Also, uh, Phase 3 announcement. Look that oh, up. It's D20, a great video. Um, D23. D23. They could do a D23. When is D23? Sense. August. I was right. So August is when they would not. That makes sense. Yeah. They would announce Phase 4 in August. This is right so. after Far From Home. Cool. Thanks, guys, for watching this video. If you enjoyed, uh, leave a like. Subscribe to the channel. Nice website, D23. Also, new announcement on the channel. We're going to do a commentary series of horror movies because I have convinced this guy to watch 10 horror movies with me. We're going to do commentary tracks, one of which is going to be Us, which if you don't know what you don't know, he refuses to watch horror movies. (laughs) And he will scream like a Josh (laughs) Makuga if you know who that is. It's going to be great. We're going to be watching a bunch of different horror movies, including us. I don't want to reveal the whole list, but we got it all chosen out. Look out for that on the channel. Commentaries are coming back. Talking Movies Podcast, obviously, we're doing one now. We're going to be doing, keep on doing them, reviews, everything. Thanks, guys, for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.